thanks for coming. Uh, <clears throat> this is the first of uh, four sessions of the Craft Beer Roundtables, and today we're featuring owners of breweries of the Duluth beer scene. Um, these sessions are meant to shine a spotlight on the vibrant and growing craft beer culture in uh, America, and particularly right here in Duluth. Um, before we start, I'd like to thank all the sponsors of this event. Uh, they include the Growler Magazine, Carmody's Irish Pub, uh, we got uh, Canal Park Brewing, Just Take Action, the home of uh, Ficker's Brewhouse Beer, um, Blacklist Brewing, Bent Paddle Brewing, Castle Danger Brewing, Lake Superior Brewing, Thirsty Peg and Brew Pub, and Northland Beer Blog. Thank you all very much for all the support that uh, you guys have given to us in, in uh, putting this together. So I'm just going to start off real quick uh, talking about the craft beer movement in America, which actually started, you know, several decades ago in the late 70s and early 80s when a bunch of home brewers were really trying to recapture some of the old world styles that were disappearing from America altogether. Uh, so they really <clears throat> were experimenting and decided to start experimenting in the business of brewing. Um, and since then, uh, since the late 70s, when there were less than 50 breweries in the U.S., um, those um, those days of when there was nothing but light lager in the craft brewing, craft, uh, craft brewing has been offering consumers uh, more varieties of styles to choose from. Uh, today, the craft brewing industry directly employs over 100,000 people and uh, has a more significant market share than ever before, with over 7% of total volume and over 10% of total dollars spent on beer. Um, growth in this industry is on the rise. There's over 1,100 breweries in the works across the United States. And Duluth has seen an amazing surge in the interest of beer. Um, back in 1994, after 20 years without a brewery in this town, Lake Superior Brewing started up and was followed very shortly thereafter uh, by Fickers Brewhouse and Twin Ports Brewing. Um, those establishments are still here in town today. Uh, Twin Ports has changed to Thirsty Pagan, uh, the name, but uh, it's still producing quality local beers and business is booming. Uh, just in the past few years, we've seen a surge of new breweries come on, onto the market, um, and that's one of the great aspects of the Duluth beer scene. It's the diversity of approaches to this craft, and uh, that's why we're here today, to see, to learn firsthand and hear how this business is thriving and where the industry is heading. So I'm delighted to have uh, five owners of the breweries here, with me, uh, breweries here today, um, and I'll just take a minute to introduce uh, each one of them. I'm going to start with Tim Nelson. Uh, Tim Nelson uh, and his partner uh, founded Ficker's Brewhouse uh, back in 1994. Um, and as the story goes, they were out ski bumming out in Colorado and visited a, 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 a craft beer joint and fell in love and saw the opportunity to start a uh, business in Duluth. Came back and started that brewery in 1995. Uh, since then, that brewery has had amazing success and they've opened up several tied houses, the Red Star, the Burrito Union, Tide Coons Union, the Ale House, the Rots Keller. Um, and uh, after, with 20 years of experience uh, in the craft beer scene, he has a unique perspective on uh, craft beer's ascendancy. Um, he's lobbied with the Minnesota State Legislature um, and also on the Capitol Hill in D.C. as a representative of the American Craft Brewers Association and has been elected to two terms of the Minnesota Craft Brewers Guild Board of Directors and has served on its legislative uh, committees. Next, I got Steve Knaus over here. Uh, Steve is an active and intelligent business owner who saw an opportunity in existing brew pub in Superior, Wisconsin, uh, Twin Ports Brewing. Eight years ago, um, he swooped in and saved that brewery from going out of business and has really focused on reducing costs and increasing efficiency and the quality of their um, and, the, and the quality of product for his customers, uh, which has allowed him to go recently from a two barrel system to a 14 barrel system. Seven barrel. Seven barrel, sorry. Uh, Steve is also very active in the biking community and loves to watch international rugby. <laughs> Got Ed Gleason right next to me here. Ed is the owner of Carmody's Irish Brew Pub. Uh, his family's uh, roots in, in brewing history go way back to People's Brewing, which was um, back in the... Well, it, it was a pre-prohibition brewery. Pre-prohibition brewery. Um, so back in the, in the earlier days of Duluth's brewing scene, um, Eddie started um, in 2005, opened Carmody's, brew pub, uh, Carmody's Pub, and uh, in 2009 they started brewing, going back to his family's roots, and, uh, and since then have been um, really ramping up their, their, their brewing uh, capacities. Uh, and Rocky Kavayas on the other end here, 
Uh, Rocky is from McGregor, Minnesota, attended UMD, and is an extremely <coughs> accomplished businessman. He's uh, won many awards, including the Joel Leibovitz Entrepreneur's Award, and uh, recently um, has been instrumental in opening up uh, Canal Park Brewing, which uh, took a brown, uh, brownfield site right down Canal Park, the old Zena Spring Company, uh, uh, rehabilitated the, the whole site, and put a 15-barrel brewery in, arguably one of the most technologically advanced brew pubs in the nation. Um, and this project, uh, it was a long process, and at the end of it, they won the Economic Development Association of Minnesota's Redevelopment Project Award for their efforts there in reestablishing re a viable business uh, on the beautiful Shores Lake Superior. Um, Brian Tonis, he's with uh, Ben Paddle Brewing, hails from La Crosse, Wisconsin, came to the Twin Course to attend UMD and fell in love with the area. Um, he began his brewing career actually at Twin Ports Brewing in uh, the early 2000s. And in 2004, he received a diploma from Siebel Brewing Academy. In 2005, took a job with Rock Bottom out in Portland, uh, where he was trained as a head brewer and came back to Minnesota and worked in their Minneapolis establishment. Uh, he has won awards for his beers at uh, Great American Beer Festival um, and is, has also been actively involved in the Minnesota Craft Brewers Guild. It's through his involvement that he met his uh, current partners in Bent Powell Brewing, and uh, it ev is evident with this new brand of beer, their passion for blending the outdoors and beer. I want to thank you all for coming, um, and so let's launch into uh, our first discussion question. This is going to be a nice, um, kind of informal, just feel free to speak up, and let's just keep the conversation rolling. At the end of the questions, we're going to have a